you are. Hi, Scott. Nice to meet you. But very nice to meet you as well. I'm a, I'm a fan of yours, so it's very nice to, to speak to you. Uh, I'm also, I'm also oh, always very envious of you because you've worked with my favourite person in the world, Steve Mine. So I'll let you off. How lucky am I? So lucky. <laughs> I have, a, I just have a quick story. I know we're on a time limit, but when we were doing Pink Panther, I was doing Wicked at the time. That's how long ago it was. <laughs> and he said, "Listen, I want you to come over to dinner with my wife, and I'm gonna, and and I, I and then I want you to leave. I don't like long nights." And I said, "Okay." So I came over and I ate real quick, and then he pulled out his banjo, and I was like, I... "But I thought you wanted me to go." And he goes, "No, no, no. We can play the banjo." <laughs> <laughs> It's a good That's story. Uh, um, congratulations on Schmigadoon. Fantastic. What a Thank great you. show. Um, I've, I've been saying to everybody else, I feel like this is the bolt of joy and laughter and fun that everybody's needed in the last 18 months. I guess you would echo those sentiments. You know, when I got the call, Scott, about doing it, Sonnenfeld was like, I, I, we were at the height of the pandemic. Well, it's we still are in a way, but we just, there was no vaccine. And I thought, I, I don't know if I can feel comfortable doing this. And he said, in episode five, you got an 18 page song and we're gonna do it in one take. I was like, all right, I'll be there. Um, so when I read it, the whole thing, I just cracked up and I thought, if I'm, I, and I've been to the rodeo picnic barbecue, but if I'm laughing, it's good. It's a good sign. It's a good sign. I was, I was going to ask you about spoiling it for anybody who hasn't seen it yet, is that the, the moment you spoke about, which is, I didn't realize it was 18 pages long in one take, but I guess that's kind of in your repertoire, given that you've done so much theater that you only get one take in theater usually. <laughs> well, you know, we don't, yeah, we don't, you know, we don't. Our whole challenge is the next night, making it better and better and better. <laughs> what was scary though, Scott, is hardly any rehearsal because of the pandemic. Right. So when on Broadway or on stage, when I'm doing a concert, I rehearse. Um, there was two rehearsals. Wow. And I basically just looked at camera A, Jim, and I said, Jim, it's you and me, baby, we're doing a dance. And we did three hours of rehearsal and then we did it. And I did it three times. Three times. My goodness. That's, That's it. a lot of- uh... No cut. No cuts as well. It's it's legitimately feels like no it is what you're doing. Yeah, all in one go. Amazing. Yeah, Amazing. And I hope that you noticed the upside down Bible reference. I think I did. I think I did. I saw the show a few weeks ago, actually. But yes, it's 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 great. And also, you I get to think play. It's a mistake. It's a mistake. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, that was done on purpose. But Hello. On purpose. <laughs> and you get to play a bad guy for a little while that that's always fun a bit more liberating than playing the the nice person <laughs> it's so fun to i've i've played the bad guy before but i always look like this i like playing the bad guy and getting to wear that hair and i wanted the joker lips because the joker's maniacal i wanted the milder pierce hair i wanted angles i wanted i wanted all of it to show and because why not i mean i i don't get that opportunity to look like that very often so i just went for it the corset was entirely too tight i wanted it to be very uncomfortable so that i was slightly in a bad mood a lot of the time <laughs> <laughs> I th hey i think that worked for christian bale when he played batman he said he always got headaches with the thing so he was like i'll just use it because that's what batman's supposed to be like <laughs> You know what? I remember him saying that, and maybe that stuck in me because I was like, "Make that corset tight, no tighter, tighter, tighter." Make me angry, yeah. <laughs> After sixteen hours, I'm like, "Huh, I think some of my rib rib cage is gone. Like, I can't feel my the lower half of my body, which, you know, I'd like to feel my legs. That's all." <laughs> of course. Uh, it's been absolutely lovely to talk to you. Thank you so much for your time and uh, good luck with the show. It's oh, been really, really good fun. Scott. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.